The Light Tactical Aircraft Project, acronym for Light Tactical Aircraft in Russian, is a proposal from Sukhoi for a multi-purpose fifth-generation aircraft, economical and intended for export. I seldom make Aeropedia videos like this, where we narrate the story and development of various aircraft models, since the Su-75 Checkmate is, for now, just a full-scale model. And, of course, there are no videos of this machine flying, but I've been asked so much that I decided to show it, as I know, doing it on the channel with 3D images. So, I propose to play with what little is known about this aircraft and compare it with some other planes we know. Welcome to a new Aeropedia of the World of Aviation video. This new aircraft was presented at the MAX Air Show of 2021, and it was quite a surprise. Presented by Rostec, which is the state corporation for assistance to development and production of advanced industrial technology exports. The future Su-75 is intended to be a competitor in the combat aircraft market for countries with limited resources, but that can equip themselves with a state-of-the-art aircraft. In this video, I'll share the data Rostec provided at the exhibition. This would be a single-engine design of a fifth-generation multi-purpose aircraft. It would have a range of 3,000 kilometers with internal fuel tanks. Its maximum speed would be 2,200 kilometers per hour, or MAC 1.8. And it has two side compartments with air-to-air -air missiles and a ventral weapon bay for the combination of armament, with a load capacity of 7,400 kg plus an internal cannon. It possibly also has external supports when combat missions do not require the stealth of the aircraft. It was also stated that the airplane is equipped with an advanced artificial intelligence system that acts like a sort of co-pilot and would present modular systems. That is, they can be removed and replaced easily, which would facilitate creating different versions according to the client's requirements. It would be powered by the NPO Saturn and Steli E30 engine. It's the same one being designed to equip the Su-57 by the middle of this decade. It's a latest generation engine. The cabin would be very similar to the Su-57s, so it is thought that they would share several components and systems. The electronic infrastructure of the Checkmate is all open architecture and uses the Matryoshka diagnostic systems, which are mostly on board. It would also have an active electronically scanned array radar, which if you want to know what it is, I'll leave a video about it up to the right for you to go see later. The Sukhoi company would manufacture it under the designation T-75. Remember that this company calls SU the planes it manufactures in series, with some exceptions like the SU-47, of which we already have a video on the channel. Days before the official presentation at the MAX, Rostec showed a video where reference was made to different air forces, among them specifically to the Argentine Air Force's 5th Fighter Group. What could be taken as an offer to many Latin American countries that would need to equip themselves with an economical multi-role airplane. I've linked this video in the description below for you to watch later. The very optimistic unit cost of this aircraft would be $30 million each. 
and I say very optimistic since if we compare it with other aircraft like the latest generation Saab Gripen NG, like those Brazil bought, the unit cost is above $80 million. And the F-35A managed to lower its unit cost to $78 million. After hundreds of mass-produced aircraft, to date there have been over 690 F-35As built. Of course, the latter is much more expensive to operate than the subplane per flight hour. I know comparisons are odious, but I can't let it pass. The similarity of this design to a proposal from the American company Northrop, the MRF-54E, a plane that never saw the light of day, but it had been a project from the early 90s to replace the F-16, years before the advanced tactical fighter program, which gave light to the F-35 we know today. This aircraft, which I personally love and hope lives up to its promise, is currently just a proposal that we mustn't forget. Some Russian media indicated that a prototype might be flying by the year 2023 with first deliveries for the 2026, which remains very optimistic and unlikely as any aircraft takes many years of testing. Let's think about the same Su-57 which flew for the first time in the year 2010. And even to this day, it is still in testing, even though a few production models have been made. We'll see what happens with this aircraft in the future. Until a new video from the world of aviation. CC by Antarctica Films, Argentina.